Billy, it is our extreme pleasure to inform you that we have once again taken Marion. Please go suck a dog cock while we fill all our holes with man pudding. The Black Warriors. Yes, we are aware that we spelled pleasure wrong. Billy. Jimmy. Marion. Yeah, they kidnapped her again. Gotta go. Yup. Gotta go save her. Double Dragon! Whoa, dude. What are you doing? I thought we'd just drive. No, man. We gotta walk the streets and fight all the gang members. We gotta go to Japan. We gotta go to New York, fight in the subway. We gotta go to the ghetto. We gotta go to Cairo. Then we fly back here. We go across town to the abandoned bread factory where we know the Shadow Lord's at and take him on. Or we could just drive. This is so, so much better. This is ridiculously easy. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't do it before. I don't know. I don't. You know, this is going to save a lot of damn time. Yeah? Yeah. We could probably go watch a movie. I mean, we've always had driver's license since we've been, since this whole thing. Why do they always kidnap Marion? You know, I haven't even dated her for like 10 years. Yeah, you want to get something to eat? Yeah, we can probably do that too. Dinner, movie. Yeah. I mean, think about it. I mean, Marion's not going anywhere. I mean, yeah, that should be. Fun. They've done so many things to her at this point. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we had to break up. Uh, her downstairs mix-up. <laughs> yeah. Just... Yeah. Oh shit, Black Warrior! Just go, just <laughs> hyperdrive, bitches. Well, thirty miles an hour, but still way faster than the guy could run. Yeah. Yeah. Warriors, your days of evil corruption are over, and I gotta work at three. Yeah, get your ass over here and fight us one on one. Oh, you shot me, shit! <laughs> Double Dragon. I'm sure many of you would love to hear about the arcade, Master System, Game Boy, PC, or Genesis versions of this game, but in interest of time, we're going to focus on the three NES release titles in the US not sharing the limelight with the Battletoads. Originally released in the arcades in 1987, Double Dragon was available for the home console the following year. It was for the beat em up what Super Mario Bros. was for the platformer. Combining street fighting beat em up action with a pseudo experience system, Double Dragon was way ahead of its time. Definitely. And being able to unlock new moves really makes you care about your score in a way that you otherwise just would not give a shit about. It's just too bad the Nintendo home version does not allow for co-op play. It really sucks having to alternate turns. Totally! The reason for this is the same reason you can only have two enemies on screen at once, and why they have to be the same enemy. Basically, Trade West didn't feel like working around the limitations of the NES and called it good. This also accounts for the numerous bugs in the game. You mean like the bug where you can just climb down the ladder and then kill the end boss on, uh, what is it, uh, Mission 2? Yeah, silly things like that. Um, the trick where you can turn the whip into a bat, you can teleport through walls, there's an invisible guy that you beat up, get max experience, it's somewhere in the game, I haven't actually found myself. Yeah, there's a lot more than I remember. Okay, do we want to talk about Mode B? Okay, well Mode B is kind of like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, but there are no super moves, there are no fatalities, Basically, you get to play a character fighting the twin of that character versus the computer. And you can jump, you can kick, you can punch. 
Okay, yeah. Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, released one year after the first title, took nearly everything good from its predecessor, took it out, and replaced everything with human feces. Okay, so in this one, there's no experience system of sorts. You really start the game with all your moves. And the only redeeming quality, I think, is getting to do two-player instead of taking turns. The worst thing about this game is the face-dependent way that they make your attacks work. Basically, if you're facing right and you hit B, you're gonna throw a kick behind you. You're facing left and you throw a B, you're gonna throw a punch in front of you. Didn't make any sense. You know what does make sense? Spin kick. Sure, but when you use a spin kick half the time, you just end up doing a jump. And it does no damage, and some guy's just gonna boot you in the fucking head. I mean, having to press B and A at the same time for a jump would be fine. But later in the game, you have to do platforming where you're jumping across chasms, these gear things with fucking shit thrown at you. This is a beat em up, not Mega Man. This makes no sense here. <laughs> yeah, this game is brutal. Okay, but at least there's the mode B-Trick in two-player mode. I mean, it makes things super easy until the whole disappearing block thing. What Kid Nicky's referring to is in mode B, you can attack your ally, which is normally bad, and you kill him, but you gain the life that he had. So then, if he kicks your ass, kills you back, you both have the same amount of lives and are at full health, so you can pretty much just run through the game that way. It's kind of easy. Until, of course, you get to the point where there are pits and shit, and that's no good, of course. Yeah, it's a great little technique, but it doesn't really matter if you're going to be falling holes left and right. Double Dragon 3, The Rosetta Stone, released in 1990, will not help you learn a foreign language. It is, however, I think, the best of the Nintendo 3. You have co-op, a totally new set of moves most of which are 100% easier to execute, each character has a special weapon that they can use a set number of times, and coolest of all, it has unlockable characters in the form of Chin, a Chinese odd job look-alike, and Ronzao, a ninja. Yeah, after beating these guys as a stage boss, they come to join you, which is pretty cool. And you're gonna need them too, because this game is fucking hard. Enemies are relentless, and even the weakest ones can stunlock you to death fast. To make matters worse, in Egypt, you have more platforming, which still doesn't make any sense as a single misstep can send you right to the morgue. Yeah, and like in real life, you only have one life per character to lose, making not dying even more of a priority. That about wraps it up. I want to give major props this week to Austin Kidnicky Kelly, the Radical Ninja. If you enjoyed the pre-review sketch, definitely check out his channel, the... Big Mistake Project. The Big Mistake Project. Check us out on Facebook. Watch and wait for new episodes, which are sure to come very soon. Um, this being our first episode, uh, I want to thank you for watching it at all. And we'll see you later, Retro Kid. Vegeta, Trunks, or Goku, a plant wizard, any guy from Shaq Boo. Yeah, I wish I was anyone but me. Yeah, I'm just an average guy. I